Hello, advanced qualitative researchers. You are about to take on a journey that is out of this world. This is you in your super cool, intergalactic, travel-friendly space suit. You have a bedroll with you, and your oxygen supply is in your backpack. If you look closely, you will see the space reflected in your helmet. This is you on your spaceship, which happens to be Pegasus. Don't worry if it doesn't make sense. Just go with it. We're moving into a space of imagination. I want you to think of your experience in this course as if you are this intergalactic space traveler moving in and out of multiple worlds. Sometimes you might go in and out of these worlds in some logical linear order. Other times you could be traveling back and forth between these worlds. Sometimes you might halt somewhere in between these worlds belonging to no world. See this as an adventure that expands your understanding of how you make meaning of experiences, cultures, conversations, interactions, and ethics. Your job is to land on the planets, seek permission to enter from the Elders Council, and if permission is granted, then learn about the planet, work with the people, their culture, and see how it resonates with you. Maybe you would feel at home in one planet. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe parts of the planet's culture would resonate with you. At the end of the course, you will be able to understand better how you relate with the planetary cultures and why. For now, I just need you to stay open and aware. Githali could be one of the first planets where you might travel. This is an older planet with a strong agrarian culture. People here are traditional minded. They have their way of doing things. They're structured and linear. They complete one task and then move on to the next task. They plan ahead. They're well organized. You may like staying on this planet a bit longer if this is how you understand and make sense of your world. These people, if they're generous and willing, will have much to teach you in terms of structure, organization, tradition, and analyzing the world through such lenses. Anahita is a really fun planet. When you land in Anahita, it could be a little intimidating, but don't be. The people of Anahita are full of love. They express their love through wanting to right the wrongs. They are fighters, justice warriors. They believe that until all of us are free, none of us are free. They believe that our liberation and resistances are entangled. You will meet the elders and they will guide you into the spaces that you could visit and what you might need to do to earn their respect and the permission to enter other spaces to which you might not have immediate access. Be extremely aware of not imposing yourself or any of your need to learn on any of the people of Anahita. Approach with humility and honesty. Remember, if they let you into their spaces, it is an honor and privilege, but not a right or entitlement. Vidya. Okay, I will be honest. I absolutely adore this planet. And you can have a favorite planet too. I actually like all of them, but if someone asked me where I would go for vacation, I would choose Vidya. This planet is full of creativity with art, music, storytelling, drama, sculpture, dance, and so much more. The people here think that if you immerse yourself in creativity, you get to have even more intergalactic journeys through these creativity portals into other spaces and bring back key insights for your planet or your people or for your work. I hope you enjoy this planet as much as I do. Turana. This is a special planet. This is a planet of calmness, of seeing the big picture, of people who pull information from many sources and somehow make sense of what is going on. You will meet people here who can teach you how to do the same of having a broad and deep understanding of phenomena, experiences, and patterns of existence among sentient beings. They will teach you how to tap into your inner resources, to ask the important questions, to come up with an answer that expands beyond one person, one interview, or one incident. They will also teach you how to communicate your deep and broad insights to different types of people. 
More importantly, they will teach you how you understand yourself in relation to others. In this class, you will move in and out of these planets frequently, making you a savvy, ethical, creative, critical, contemplative, and intergalactically aware space traveler. By the end of your journey in this class, you will be able to understand how you want to combine your lessons learned from your planetary travels to your own work. Let the journey begin.